What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint, here with an updated statueless room tour. Man, a lot of you guys that follow me on YouTube or IG or Facebook, you know, I've been getting rid of some statues and kind of kind of rearranging the, uh, the room here. So this is the little alcove area. Used to have life-size bus. Then it had Calyx with books. But now we have the uh, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter arcade one-up. Uh, cabinets, which I love. They're dope. We got some nice posters here. Some Mortal Kombat, all old school stuff. We got some Street Fighter stuff over here. And now, as we go into the Gempire, man, you see a big change. We used to have Bestas and Pax units all along the walls here. As you can see, we got the window exposed. We got the red couch in the mix. And on this wall, we have stacked up a bunch of uh, Calyx. We'll, we'll go look at the books in a second. But we got uh, these wood 3D heads. My man by, uh, Brian Cochran makes them. He's in our Facebook group, Geminites. We got the Marvel Masterpiece poster with the 1992 frame set. And we just got some posters and some commissions uh, done by my man Sal uh, Bertulli. And some, I, don't, I forgot who the artist is on that one. We got that at El Paso Comic Con, I believe. Uh, as we go here, this wall is kind of the same. So I got the desk in here. So I actually, I, I, this area right here, and I lied, we do still have two statues. Um, I had two two by two calyx right there, which as you, you can see right here, now I got six of them stacked up. But we finally switched that out with another four by four piece so that it's all the same height. So I'm really loving that. We still have all the posters up here on the slant wall. So here, I did, uh, all right, so I'll talk about it now. So I, you know, I started getting rid of some of my statues and I'm the type of person, if you really know me, which some of you do, once I get started on something, man, I kind of just go full force. So I ended up selling pretty much all my statues. I have a couple of them boxed up still in the garage. I kept the uh, piece that I commissioned and even though I didn't commission Hobgoblin, uh, my partner on the doppelganger, that's his piece. And they're, they're kind of meant to com be companions to each other, so I kept that. So I figure I'll, I'll definitely keep the pieces that I commission. And I still have statues on pre-order. I probably have 25, 30 pre-orders still. So I'm still going to get statues in, and I'm still going to review them for the channel. And maybe I'll keep some, or maybe I won't. But um, I just kind of... A couple of things, man. I was kind of getting uh, a little bored with the statues. The same statues just sitting there, collecting dust, getting chipped, getting broken. Statues becoming more and more expensive, and addition sizes are higher, and shipping is more expensive. And I just kind of got sick of the whole statue game. I ended up um, buying a new truck. I got a brand new Tahoe. I hooked it up. The 28s, low profile tires, system all that kind of stuff so kind of just put that into something else while I wait for new pieces to come in so we'll talk about what's in the room got a, my only Funko Pops were ones that were gifted to me because I was always like against buying them not because I don't like them but because I have an addictive personality so <laughs> my man um, Stone Sour got me the Scorpion you know I can't remember who got me the um, Spider-Man I think it was at work actually I think F and them got that for me Akira box set, did a review on that and the movie. Here's my uh, Marvel trading card tins, gem and business cards. Holla at me if you bought that business. No, I'm just playing. We got uh, a Darsh hooked us up with this. this is for a 25K subscriber giveaway. This is one of the third place prizes. Here we got my team up with IG Comic Store on the Joe Jusco Punisher one and X Men, uh, Uncanny X Men one variants, which are. Uh, cover homages and they're they're freaking awesome Happy to be a part of those 
Secret Wars box set. My reviews on the box set got got some love too, man. I like these box sets. I think there's um, what's coming out? The DC uh, Infinity Crisis one. Got some big boys in the house, man. We got Amazing Fantasy 15 5.0 signed by Stan Lee on the back. It's like a big, pretty big book right there. Uh, Iron Man 55 and a 9.6 White Pager, first appearance of Thanos, Drax, and Blood Brothers, and a bunch of people. No one else cares about Mentor. Civil War box set. Very cool stuff. Got some more slabbage over here. We got uh, Tales of Suspense 39, 5.5, signed by Stan Lee. X-Men 1, 2.5. We got first appearance of Mr. Freeze in a 2.5. What else do we got? Uh, first appearance of Gamora in a 9.6. We got my spec pick of the year. <laughs> first appearance of Annihilus in a 7.5. Me and Manimal bought the same book in the same grade to see if we can spec it up. Huge book right here, too, man. Uh, Showcase 4, first appearance of the Silver Age Flash, Barry Allen. Very hard to get a good-looking cover on this book, man. As you can see, this one's faded up. Then we got a uh, first appearance of Nebula in a 9.8. And then we got the first appearance of MODOK in the 8.5, actually. Uh, up here we got some crap, but we got the big boy Infinity Gauntlet box set. Everyone's favorite box set. Bam. I just got some little knickknacks up here, man. Little bank bus and yeah, those are all bank bus. Then we got the my boy Jeff Looch. That's the original art too, man. We made prints of it. To do at like uh, the little Gem Con event we threw, but that's the uh, original art of the animal and gem. I showed you guys the Hobgoblin and the Doppelganger and the little Marvel Masterworks Galactus. Then I got a uh, first appearance of uh, Doppelganger, which I still think is wrong. I think his first appearance is Infinity War number one. All right, looking at the books over here. We got Absolute Authority, Aliens, Original Comics. Then we got the two Promethea books, Ape Sapien, that's the next uh, read. All the Hellboy Library editions, including The Art of Hellboy and the little Weird Tales hardcover, which uh, just came with Plague of Frogs when I bought it off some dude off eBay. 1946 through 1948, and Hell on Earth. We just finished the Hell on Earth review. I'll release it soon. Baby Teeth by Donny Cates, Black Hammer, Black Science, Chew, Absolute Danger Girl. Got Deadly Class, Descender, East of West, Fear Agent, Fatal, Fade Out, The Goon. I want to get started on The Goon soon. Got some He-Man books here, The Art of He-Man and like the comic strip stuff. The Incal. We did a recent reads with, with my wife. That was dope. The, uh... Uh, Invincible, man, I, I think I want to start reading that, like, right now. Like, I keep looking at it. I have the OHCs that finished the run in my IST wish list. Uh, Lock and Key, I should do a not-so-recent on that, man. Manimal wants to read it, so maybe I'll just let him do the review. Low by Remender. Got the G.I. Joe and the Transformers vs. G.I. Joe. Uh, a lot of holes in this, man. Like, I, I made it so I have a lot of space uh, for more books. Because that's what it's really all about for me is the books. So you see a lot of gaps and stuff. What else we got? Absolute Planetary, Outcast, The Two Claws, Hardcovers, Nailbiter, Paper Girls, Predator, we got Young Bloods and Tank Girl, Absolute Preacher, Why the Last Man. These are the other uh, prizes for the third place on the 25K giveaway, The Avengers Omni, Wanted, and Batman White Knight. All of these deluxe editions we're going to give away as well, uh, probably during our live shows. I forgot to show the, uh, I had this forever, man, this Jim Lee poster with the holograms that we uh, framed up with it. Got them Spawn, 
absolutes, Big Damn Sin City, all the Sandman absolutes, Saga, those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe, and Tail, uh, yeah, I gotta get rid of those. I'm gonna keep the Archie trades. Got all the Luna Brothers, absolutes, absolute top 10 of E for Vendetta. We got, um, the old school turtle stuff and the color classics with the pizza boxes, the IDW run, uh, Absolute Transmetropolitan with all the Usagi Yojimbos, the boys, and all the Transformers Phase 1 and 2 deluxe editions that are out so far, the Valiant stuff, Velvet, and the Walking Dead. So that's my little independent nook. Then over here, you know, it's the Marvel wall, which is every Marvel omnibus ever released, except Infinity by Starlin and Hickman, which I boycotted. And this is every DC omnibus released so far, except for the DC Rebirth Extended omnibus, because I boycotted that. So how you, how you like that? So every omnibus ever with an asterisk. <laughs> so I guess we can take a little quick scan. I don't know, do I need to name them one by one? Yes, I do. Get Acts of Vengeance, Alpha Flight, Amazing Fantasy, Annihilation with Conquest, Atlantis Attacks. It's a good checklist for some of y'all, right? Avengers 1 through 4 from uh, the Silver Age. Then Avengers by John Byrne, West Coast Avengers. I just threw this in here, my Just Go book. Avengers by George Perez, Avengers The Crossing, uh, The New Avengers. Ultimate Avengers, Young Avengers, Uncanny Avengers, Avengers by Jonathan Hickman. Then we jump into Cap. We got the Golden Age Cap, the two Silver Age Stan Lee volumes, the Jack Kirby Silver Age, uh, yeah, Silver Age volume. Then you got the Mark Wade '90s Cap, and the uh, five Brew Break uh, Brew Baker Caps, which I still need to read the last two. Man, I've been slacking. Got that Captain Britain Omni, little whale of a book. The new uh, Captain Marvel one, Carnage, the two new Conan books, the Stephen King omnibus, uh, Dark Tower, the Dark Tower stuff. Uh, the Daredevil, so we got some some space here too, see how we did it? All the Daredevil Omnis, the Stan Lee run, the Frank Miller run with the Companion, the Bendis run, the Brubaker run, Shadowland, the Mark Wade books. Then we jump into Deadpool, uh, Deadpool, Deadpool with X-Force. Deadpool by Joe Kelly, the classics, the beginnings, Deadpool and Cable, uh, Deadpool and Co. Then you have the four minibus, the Deadpool by Posen and Dugan, Deadpool by uh, Daniel Way. Then we got Devil Dinosaur, the three Doc Strange books, the Stan Lee one in the 290s, Sorcerer Supreme runs. Let's just go down here. Secret Wars 1 and 2, Secret Warriors by Hickman. Secret Invasion, then you got Runaways by uh, Brian K. Vaughn, Punisher Back to the War, the Ennis Run, the Remender Run, the uh, the Ennis Max Run, and the Jason Aaron Max Run. You got the Infamous Muppets and Muppet Babies, the Oz Omni by Scotty Young, New Warriors, one of my few st uh, still sealed ones, right? Actually, looking around here, we got a couple. <laughs> Miss Marvel. Monster Omnibus, Marvel Zombies, the Ultimate Marvel, uh, what do you call that kind of book? Um, compilation book. Marvel Universe by Frank Miller, John Byrne, Chris Claremont, Marvel Now Compilation, Marvel Night by Joe Quesada, Marvel the First, um, Marvel First the Nineties, and you got all the Marvel Cinematic Universe comics, Golden Age Marvel, Seventy Five Years Compilation. Man Thing, you got Loki, John Carter, Warlord of Mars, Immortal Iron Fist. I should do a recent read on that too. Incredible Iron Man by Kurt Busiek, Iron Man by Stan Lee, Volume 1 and 2, and Iron Man by David Michelini, and John Romita Jr., uh, Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War, Thanos Wars, Infinity Origin. Then we got the Hulk stuff, Incredible Hulk by Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, Planet Hulk and World War Hulk. You got Howard the Duck. I'm reading the Hellstrom right now, but by Warren Ellis, but I'm not really loving it. 
Got Hawkeye, all the Guardian stuff, which is the Solo Classics, the Jim Valentino stuff, the Abnett and Landing stuff, Bendis, the Tomorrow's Hero stuff, and the uh, Dugan uh, run. Ghost Rider by Jason Aaron, Fantastic Four, Stan Lee stuff, the John Byrne stuff, the Hickman stuff, Mark Wade, and um, Matt Fraction. Earth X, Elektra, one of the few Omnis I gave up reading. The Eternals, which I didn't give up reading. Evolutionary War. Shang-Chi, man. Ah. <laughs> and the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. I haven't opened any of those things, man. Uh, the Shield Complete Collection, the OG Silver Surfer, the uh, Dan Slott Silver Surfer, and then you got Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 through 3, Volume 4 is coming out soon, and I bought the Straczynski one, came out today. Spider-Man by Roger Stern, uh, Amazing Spider-Man by McFarlane, Spider-Man by McFarlane, Spider-Man by Larson, The Clone Saga, The Ben Riley Volume 1, Spider-Man's Tangle Web, another book I gave up on reading, which sucked. Untold Tales of Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, Death of Ultimate Spider-Man, Superior Foes of Spider-Man. Then one of my favorite Omnis, Spider-Man vs. Venom. Got the two Venom buses, the two Squadron Supreme. I should do a double dip on that because the small book is all included in the big book. Stephen King, The Stand. Let me scoot on over. The three... Uh, Early years, Marvel Star Wars, the UK Marvel Star Wars, the Droids and Ewoks, the Jason Aaron run, the Darth Vader Omni. Then we got the uh, Mighty Thor 1 through 3 by Stan Lee. Uh, Thor by Walt Simon, uh, yeah, Walter Simonson. Heroes Reborn Volumes 1 and 2. Thor by Straczynski. Tomb of Dracula 1 through 3. The Ultimates, The War of Kings. Werewolf by Night, Women of Marvel, and then the Wolverine stuff, the Volume 1, Return of Weapon X, the Mark Millar run, the Jason Aaron run, Wolverine Goes to Hell, Wolverine and the X-Men, 90s X-Force, Uncanny X-Force, probably my favorite omnibus in the whole collection, and then the X-Men Volumes 1 and 2, um, the, the entire Silver Age run. Let's scoot back on over here so you can be more chronological. <clears throat> Uncanny X-Men 1 through 3, X-Men Classic, The Dark Phoenix Saga, Mutant Massacre, Omnibus, the Claremont 90s stuff with Jim Lee, Age of Apocalypse and the Companion, Onslaught, X-Men Revolution by Claremont, New X-Men by Grant Morrison, Astonishing X-Men by Josh Whedon, uh, X-Men Legacy Legion and X-Static then we have the oversized hardcovers which I am trying to stop collecting um, I don't really need to have all these X-Men OHCs because I think they're going to eventually do them in Omnibus Superior Spider-Man I was thinking about custom binding that but I'm afraid that I'm going to do that and then they're going to announce one and uh, you know some of these events I like man I like Avengers vs. X-Men and I don't know, I like having, I don't know, Original Sin and stuff like that. Secret Wars by Hickman. I don't know, maybe I'll keep a couple. Down here, all these trades is all temporary. I do have the Power Rangers Deluxe Editions down there and Berserk down there. And my Phase 1 and 2 Blu-ray set. But that's all going to get stored somewhere else or sold or given away. I'm not going to keep a whole bunch of trade paperbacks. I don't even know how I ended up with three cubes of them, but... We're going to get rid of those. And lastly, let's go over the DC Omnibus. And then we'll get out of here for the day, right? Alright, so we got to drop the footage and do it again. So, yeah, so I have every, um, like, Golden Age, Batman, Green Arrow, Superman, Wonder Woman, all the Silver Age uh, and Bronze Age Omnibus that DC has been putting out with this new run of theirs. It's a ton of books. And I just keep buying them. <laughs> Just for the collection, really. All right. Then we got American Vampire by Snyder. That's on my short list of like books to read next. Animal Man by uh, Grant Morrison. Aquaman by Jeff Johns. The Batman 66 Omnibus. Neil Adams Batman. Loeb Sale Batman. 
uh, Batman by Grant Morrison, the Nightfall Omnis, Batman and Robin from the New 52, Batman Arkham uh, Saga, Red Hood and the Outlaws, Deathstroke, um, New 52 stuff, Before Watchmen, Doom Patrol by Morrison, Jack Kirby's Fourth World, and uh, Commandi, The Green Lantern, Jeff Johns run with the Brightest Day Omni, then The Flash, Jeff Johns, Flash by Manipal, uh, Gotham City, you got Grayson, House of Secrets. Then we got um, the Orion on the bus, the Harley Quinn by uh, Connor and. What's that? Uh, I can't read it from here. Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens, The Sleeper, Invisibles, got Hawkman, Ex Machina, uh, Infinite Crisis. Final Crisis, uh, the DC Universe reboot, uh, Rebirth Omnibus compilation, and I don't have the extended version that has a couple of more issues of it. It's a waste. Uh, the DC One Million Omni, the Fifty Two Omni, the New Fifty Two Omni, Future's End, the New Fifty Two Zero, the Villains Month uh, New Fifty Two, uh, the JSA by Jeff Johns, and uh, the Dark Side War. This Just Imagined by Stan Lee, uh, which was for DC Comics. The Justice League International and Detroit Era. Uh, Planetary Omnibus, Seven Soldier, Superman, The Exile and Other Stories, The Death and Return of Superman. We got Super Sons, the Old School uh, Three, New Teen Titans Omnibus, which I'm thinking about getting rid of and, and upgrading to the new volumes. And then on the last row, we got Teen Titans by Jeff Johns, The Three Wonder Woman by George Perez, Wonder Woman, uh, Agent Prince Diana, Princess Diana, Wonder Woman by Phil Jimenez, The He-Man Omni, The Izami Omni, and The DC Absolutes, like Absolute Scarlet, Killing Joke, Court of Owls, Batman Incorporated, All-Star Batman and Robin, uh, Batman Reborn, Absolute Dark Knight, Absolute Hush, Year One, Superman and Batman, All-Star Superman, Superman for Tomorrow, uh, Complete Crimson, Absolute uh, Luther and Joker by Azarello and uh, uh, Bermejo. Bermejo. We got the OG Green Lantern, Green Arrow. We have the Identity Crisis, Green uh, Arrow by... Kevin Smith, World's uh, Best Superheroes, Absolute Flashpoint, Final Frontier, Absolute Justice by Alex Ross, and then you have Kingdom Come, you have Avengers vs. JLA, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Infinity, uh, Infinite Crisis, and Final Crisis Absolute, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the three volumes, Absolute Ronin, Absolute Justice League Origin, Absolute Watchmen, Wonder Woman, New 52, and Absolute Wildcats. So, dang. Kind of regret naming them all one by one now. Anyway, you know, what I forgot to mention is a big reason why I wanted to also redo this room is that even though it was very cool, we had this, these two whole walls full of statues, it was really only a room for one person to sit in, man. Like, me and Manimal would do the live show, but look at these shelves, man. We had to put two chairs and we're always hitting our legs there, right? Uh, basically, and then when we're doing the live show, we have company and stuff, man, and like nobody can sit. So now, man, we do the live shows. We got the whole couch. We put some chairs over here. You know what I'm saying? People can chill at the desk. People can hang out there and play the video games. So it's just more conducive to hanging out and chilling out instead of just a room for just me. And uh, yeah, man, that was another big reason. I, it's way more comfortable. I actually never really hung out in here. Unless I was doing videos. But now I come up in here and just chill out and read up here and stuff. So that was kind of the whole point to make this more of a comfortable area to, to hang out in. Um, you, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I have more statues coming. I could always make space. I could always take these two calyx down, put statues on top of there. And then I could also put those two calyx right down here. And I could put statues on top of them as well. So... You know, right now, it's the least amount of statues I probably will have because I you know, definitely have more coming in. And I'm definitely still going to make my own and always change up 
I always change up the um, the room, man. I, I get bored easily, and I like to switch it up. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm scared to read them, but I'll read them all anyway, like I always do. A lot of people are going to say no. A lot of people are going to say about time. You know, we have a, a pretty split audience of comic collectors and statue collectors. So interested to hear what you guys say. But uh, thanks for watching. Y'all hit the like either way. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Keep it minty fresh. Peace.